Hello everyone and welcome again. Starting from this video, I will do something different. What I will do is to search the internet for the best page design, either it's a live site or it is just a template or an online theme. A WordPress theme which you can find in some sites like Theme Forest or Theme Monster. And if I like the design, I will try to replicate that design using WordPress, using some of the WordPress page builders out there. Something like uh, Elementor, Page Builder, uh, Visual Composer, Site Builder, uh, Visual Composer, Page Builder, and we might use Divi Page Builder. Also, if you come across a site or a theme which you like, copy the link of the site and put it in a comment below this video, and I will try to replicate that design. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can keep designing with me. Okay, so today I was looking at Apple website uh, homepage. This is the Apple homepage. If you go to apple.com and you click or you click this Apple icon here, you will see this is the homepage of Apple. It looks simple uh, in design, but it's very nice, very clean. And sometimes simple stuff are very hard to do and very challenging, especially for the beginners. So. What if we start to design this one using all the tools we have here? Elementor, Visual Composer, Site Builder, and WordPress, um, uh, Visual Composer, Page Builder, and Divi. Let me start with Visual Composer, Site Builder. I will go to the pages, add new. Uh, in this video, I will, I will design it using Visual Composer, Site Builder, and in upcoming videos, I will uh, design the same page using uh, different tools, maybe Elementor and other tool. Uh, let me call it Apple Homepage. And of course, these options here will be different if you are using different theme. I'm using I'm using the default theme uh, from uh, Visual Composer. But anyway, it doesn't matter really because all what you need is just a blank page. I don't need a page title. I don't need a header, and I don't need a footer. So I will click Publish. I get everything ready. Then I click front end editor. Uh, then I will choose a blank page. I will come to this page in here. Okay. Uh, I won't design this menu and I won't design the footer here. Okay. I will just focus on the grid. But let me do the top bar first. Uh, the top bar. Uh, I will choose, I will make here uh, a new row by clicking this icon here or add new column or I click a new row here it doesn't matter really and when you mouse over here you'll get these icons let me explain very quickly the first one if you mouse over it you'll say here move row that means all these options here all these options are related to the row and if you move here you will see this icon saying move columns that means all these options is available for uh, the columns and this one here means the element and because we don't have any element yet inside the row or the columns clicking this one will take me to the options for the row uh, the first thing to do is just give it a color here and I save it by clicking this option down here and if I want to see it I click this one I see view page I can see this one here okay which is this one that's fine then. So the second thing is to do this section here. Uh, let me first see the height of this one. To measure the height, of course you can use any height, but just uh, to be close, I will use a Chrome extension tool called Page Ruler here. It's a free, you can download it from uh, Google Chrome if you are using Chrome. I click this one and I click in here and drag down to this one here. And I can see here the height is 700. Click back to disappear. 700. So let me do this one. I'll click another row, add another row. I'll go over here, click edit, and I give it a color, just any color to see it now. It doesn't matter what color it is. And I want to give it a height of 700. To give the row a height, I will go to extra class name. I will say section row 01. Of course, it doesn't matter this name, you can add any name, okay? 
So this name you can add any uh, name you want. And I'll go over here to this gear and I'll write this uh, CSS code. It's very simple. I just add the height of 700 pixel and don't forget to click this check mark here. Okay, now I need to add this title and the subtitle and the image. For somehow, if I mouse over here, I click this icon here or I click this plus uh, uh, icon here. For somehow, um, Visual Composer Site Builder doesn't have a header. I'm using the free version, by the way. I'm not sure if they have it in the premium version or not, but I'm going to use Google um, Google font and drag it, or I just click on it. And I will say iPhone X. I won't really uh, spend some time on, uh, I won't spend any time on uh, the family phones and so on. I'll just add it uh, 700 and I'll make it in the center and make it H1 and make the font size 55. And the second thing is uh, say hello to the future subtitle. And instead of making another one, I will just go over here, this icon for the title. I will choose clone, which duplicate it, and I will click this one to edit it. And I said, say hello to the future. And I will make this one maybe 300 uh, regular, and I will choose H3, uh, H4. Um, sorry, which one I'm clicking? This one. Oh, yeah, uh, H3. And this one here, make it 35 or maybe 30. Yeah, here we go. Now you can see here there's a big gap between this, these two elements here. So I'll click on the top one. And if I go down, I will see the padding here. And the default padding is 30 pixels. I will add it zero. So they come close to each other. The second thing is, as you can see here, the image. I will drag an image down here. Okay. And I have uh, the phone here, PNG. It's PNG picture. I'll say add image. And if you can see, it's, it came all the way to the left. I'll center it. And I need to move everything down. Of course, you can use the row padding, but I prefer to use the top title so I can have control all over the elements. I will choose this one, edit. And I will go down here and make maybe 80 pixel. Yeah, here we go. Or maybe 85. Okay, that's good enough. The last thing to do with this section is the color. So I will use another tool from Google Chrome. It's called Colorzilla. It's a free extension. You can download it and click on it. I choose here, pick color from page. And I click in any color I want. I click on this one. So I go over here. It's already copied. You don't have to copy it. And I go to the row, edit. I'll go down to the background color. I just come down here and control V or command V. I get this one. So I save it. And if I want to see it, view page. And as you can see, they look similar or very close. Okay, now let me do the second section. I will go over here. And instead of making another row, I will duplicate this one. Clone it. Clone the row, not the columns, not the elements, just the row. This one here. You see move row. That means it's, I'm dealing with the row now. So I go down to clone. I got this one. So I will get the color. I go again here to this tool, pick color from the page, and I will choose the color I want. I will get this gold color here. Click. Just click. You don't have to copy. It's just already on your clipboard. And I will go here to the row, edit, and I will go to the color down here, background color, and I will paste it here. Okay. Now, I need to change this one to iPhone 8 and change the image. So iPhone X, I click on it and I make it iPhone 8. And of course you can change the subtitle. I won't spend that, that much time on it anyway. So I'll go to the image. I'll change the image, which is this one. Click add image. And as you can see here, is, um, this one, it's all the way to the bottom. So to adjust that, I'll go to the image. And I will go here. You see there's a bad, uh, margin of, uh, of uh, 30. I'll make it zero. And I will add padding top to push, push this image down. Maybe 80 or maybe 78 or 75. Yeah. Here we go. Then I'll save. Okay. 
and click here for your page as you can see here we go we get the two sections yeah okay if you notice there is a space in here between this section and this section it's like 10 pixel so I will go over here go to the top row edit and I will add here down here 10 pixels and if I see it again view page you can see is there okay so far so good now we will come over here and make this two parts here I will go here and then add a new row but I will make two columns because over here I got two columns here so I add two columns okay and the row edit I'll make the row uh, uh, stretch it okay and this color let me add color to the to the column first I always uh, add color so I can see the uh, the, the, the row or the columns I'm dealing with just doesn't matter the color I can change it later anyway okay over here this is a background by the way I think most of the stuff in here been done in Photoshop okay that's why you cannot uh, select the text it's just images with matching uh, background color but we'll try to do this using uh, WordPress especially this one here you see the title got uh, icon next to it so this one it's uh, like a background image uh, the reason I do this as a background image not as a single image to add to it because I can add a title here and I can control where uh, this title and subtitle goes so so let me go to this one here this uh, row and I will add a background so I'll go to image here and I'll add this background doesn't matter the image okay now I have to give it a height so I'll go over here again using this tool I will see the height of this one it's around okay it says here 582 it's like 580 so uh, to give it a height first of all I go to the the row and I give it a class name I said call height okay any name you can give it any name I go here I'll add another CSS it's the same thing and I see the height 580 uh, pixel and click here now you can see it and of course I can add a title anyway I can just copy this one I go to this one and just clone it okay and just drag it move it move it from here I'm sorry why it doesn't want to move here and I can just uh, give it a color white so you can see it guys here we go okay of course you can play with with this alignment here and if I go to the row edit you can see it's just in the middle in the, in the center on the bottom or in the top so you can control in the, in the, uh, the position of it and if I click this one here you can see I got this basic padding I just take it off or I make it maybe just 25 and of course I can add subtitles or clone this one clone it and I move it down there okay and also I will make it white so you can see it over here okay of course you can change the text it's just you got the idea anyway okay over here I want to add this part in here so let me save this one okay and um, notice that the, the, the gap here are very big to fix this one I will go to the row edit and if you see here column gaps 30 I think I make it 10 okay here and there is a gap also between the top section and this section so I'm go over here to the top row this one here section one uh, section two this one and I'll give it a margin here of 10 so get this one and we still have the left side and the right side is too big so I click in this row and if you notice here there's a 30 padding here and 30 I will choose this one and make it 10 and here make it 10 instead of 30 and save okay for this one here I'll choose the same color like this one and I'll add this image so let me add the image first 
So I go click this icon, drag the image over here, and choose this one, any image, doesn't matter. Okay. And make it in the center. And I go to the uh, to the row, edit, and I want to change the color. Let me get the color from here. So I go over here, edit, and go to this color, select all, command C or control C to copy it. Go down to this uh, this column here, edit, and I give it a color. So over here, paste it, get the same color here. And also, you see here they got watch. So I go over here and add <clears throat> um, Google header. I drag it in the top of it, and they call it watch. Center it. Okay, of course I can get this one here, but it's okay. Watch and 400 and make it 55. Okay, now you can see this two, these two columns is not equal, but because this one actually I give it, this column I give it a height. Call height, if you remember, I give it a height here of 580. So I will give, uh, you see this column here, I give it a name, the class name. I will give the same class name to this column too. Edit. And it's very important because if you want to see it in mobile and mobile version, then you can have the same height. Okay, so now they are the same height. Now, I want to add this icon uh, next to it. The easiest thing to do, and this is kind of funny actually. Anyway, I go to fontawesome.com, okay, fontawesome.io, uh, uh, .io, sorry, here, fontawesome.io. I click on icons here and I can search for Apple. Get this Apple here. I click on it and copy this link here and put it here. Sorry, let me close this one. Oh, I'm sorry, I closed Apple. Okay, apple.com. Oh, it's just quite confusing anyway. So go over here and go to the title and paste the code before that which I got it from Fontos. Okay, in other page builders, it always work, but with even with the, with the Visual Composer page builder, works fine. With Visual Composer site builder, there is some hiccup here. I don't know why it didn't show up, but I found out that if I add an icon, a uh, separator with icon here, for somehow, it will appear. So I think there is something um, or maybe something I'm missing here. So if you guys know what's going on, just uh, let me know. Or uh, is it a bug? And uh, Visual Composer site builder guys need to take a look. That, take a look at it. I don't know really, but anyway, I will do it that way. And I'll go over here. This one, I will make this one zero, and I will make the color of this one disappear. Uh, I make it transparent. This is the only solution I got it in. And this one here, separator, I make it transparent. And separator width. Here we go. Let me save. And it should come here. Here we go. Okay. Uh, okay. The next thing is this one here. It's easy. Just duplicate the whole thing. So I'm come over here. This for the row. I will say clone it. Okay, and for this row, I will need to add margin of 10, so I can have a space in between. Here we go. And it's a matter of changing the background. So if I come over here, as you can see here, the background this side. So if I go over here for this column, edit, and I add the background, maybe this one. Here we go. And I'll delete this image, and I'll delete this one here. Okay, so I get this picture here, and this one is the same like um, this one here. So I can just um, edit this one, get rid of the image, and you can see this one's here. I can add any other icon. Maybe I can just add, add an image. So I go image here, I add it here, and I click the image, and I choose... Um, oh! 
Okay, before I do that, I just want to show you something here. Uh, this image you can add it uh, as the one we added here, but what I want to show you is this one. I want to do this one in here because I want to show you how to do this icon. Okay. If I delete this image and I deleted this one, or maybe I can go over here. If I want to add an icon here, say I want to add an icon, I drag this one underneath this one here. And uh, make it in the center. Um, let me choose icon. Um, let me search for Apple here. This one. And if I make it large, none. Okay, I cannot make it any any bigger than this size. I mean, there is no size option here. Of course you can do it in CSS, but to be honest with you, it's it's really annoying. The maximum it is X small, small, medium, large, and there is no option for size as uh, you can do this in Elementor Page Builder, by the way. I don't know if this option is available under the premium version or not, but for now it's not here. And as I said, I'm using the free version. So the best thing to do this is I will add an image here and I already prepared that image this one here okay this Apple image is PNG and it's very big actually I will make it thumbnail okay and make it in the center is it big uh, it's kind of big it's the same size anyway okay or you can enter your size if you want uh, here uh, width and height and I add some padding on the top maybe 50 or maybe 60 and also this one here and add another padding on the top it's 25 make it 50 okay so if I save it <coughs> and view page and here it is okay here is Apple page okay section 1 section 2 and this grid here and what we design here looks similar section 1 section 2 and this grid, of course, different images, and the rest are the same. Okay. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and in the next video, I will design our, um, or what I say, redesign this uh, Apple website using Elementor Page Builder. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.